when you want to sum up numbers or average numbers based on conditions you use the sum if and average if function what the sum if and average if function does is that it allows you to sum up numbers or average them based on conditions in excel it is called a criterion well if you want to get the best use of microsoft excel and be a cool from beginners to advance consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when i drop new content every wednesdays and sundays so let's get right into excel and see how the sum if and average if function works welcome back from the short break so here we are in excel first thing first you need to have a good understanding of the sum if and average if function the sum if and average if function both as the argument so i'll just type in equals sum if so here we are the first thing is the range the range is where we want our criteria to be picked from in our case it is this name column i'll just select that so I'll put in put in what a comma sign. The criteria our criteria this time around to work is what is John. So we want a sub if function to pick where the name John appears in this name column and relate it and add up what the sales made by John. And then you're having to pick what to pick those numbers one by one. So our criteria will be what will be in double quotes. Don't forget when it comes to text, if your criteria is a text. It has to be in what? It has to be in double quotes. I'll put in a comma sign. And the sum range is what? The cells that contain numbers that we want to add up. In this case, I'll got our sales column. Then I'll close up my word with the close parentheses. And I'll hit control enter. Wow, simple. That's easy, right? Let's do that for the word. For the sum average if. So I'll type in an equal sign this time around. I'll press average if. As you can see, the average if also have what the argument. We have the range, the criteria, and the what the average range. The range this time around will still be what you see with the name box. Our right, criteria, this is what this is John, will still be in what would be in double quotes. Now the average range is what our sales column. And I close up my parentheses. I hit Ctrl Enter. Wow, you can see super fast, super easy. Let's practice that one more time. This time around, let's pick a name that appears in the name box. Let's pick Sunday. Now is it equals some if our range words this name box? My criteria this time around is what is Tunde. day. Don't forget your criteria when it is text must be in what must be in double quotes, double quotation or quotes. Our sum range this time around will be what the sales range. I close up my parentheses. You see, so that's how the sum if and average if function works. Average if the range. We for this time around the criteria is what is Sunday the average range. Wow, you see, super fast, super easy. So, that's that the sum if and average function was it allows you to work the sum of numbers and average numbers based on criteria it's going to go cherry pick the criteria for you so if this video was helpful consider giving it a thumbs up comment and let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section after you must have shared it well if you want to learn about the if function you can check up the upper side of this video just click that link i have I recommend a video for you to watch over there